Welcome to our channel Soft Learning. In this video, we will learn about Viper diagram. So, let's start. In this video, we will learn how to draw this type of Viper diagram with the help of AquaCam software. And for this, uh, the Excel sheet I will show. And this type of error, if appear, how to resolve this one, I will show. So, this is the Excel. So, here you must have state, location, district, unit as milligram per liter then pH, ct ts carbonate by all the parameters we needed you can omit ph and total hardness uh, iron that part but i have keep that as usual so i'm i have to open this aquacan software let it be open it will take some time after opening you have to go for new project give the name of the project you can give any name. I am giving Meghalaya Piper. Then this this file no need to browse this one. Just go for next and then next then finish. Now you have to import the data. Select this one and here it click OK and then specify import file name. So we have to browse the file uh, that Excel I have already shown. I have keep it in the desktop and selecting this one and i have to open this and then file format will be same as row and column then next and here measured result start from so our data started from ph so i am selecting ph and then click on next and then select unit column so we have given the name as unit which was milligram per liter then name in the source will be location and station will be as district so then we have to go for sample analysis here parameter id will be column 0 and then we have to keep the sample id here sometimes confusion comes about location and district but here we have to select location not district then next then see here we have some type of error like duplicate sample analysis have been found so you can see data here in the location actually there will be some duplicate value some name you can see here some common name has appeared here so we have to cancel this one so cut this one and then actually we have to go to that excel which i have shown already earlier so here come to this location and here we have to go for conditional formatting here we will select highlight cell then duplicate value so here we can see that some common name is here so you have to change the name i am giving as one two three you can change the full name also and it will resolve our issue so let me do for all the duplicate value then what we should do we have to save this excel and again we have to open this aquacam software then again import data then ok then select the folder name here uh, our file was piper data the excel has been opened so i have to go here and select piper data and open yes then this is same as sample and rows and column then next then measure results start from ph we have to do the step again then we have to go next then your column start from unit and then source will be location station will be district then sample and in sample analysis parameter id will be column zero and sample id which i already told that it will be location not district so you have to select a location then next so our is well been solved so we can continue this one now here we can see that in excel it was written as phgc so we have to uh, bring this as the format of the aquacam so we will select all major parameter and select php as field you can select ph as lab also this will be el conductivity so here it has appeared el conductivity okay then carbonate will be co3 only so just uh, type here co3 it will come actually you can change this one in excel also if you keep the excel as co3 ac 3 so4 in this way not any 
negative or positive uh, charge with the ion then uh, this will automatically fill so i have to fill now this will be as no3 okay and then f minus will be only f that is fluoride actually no need to keep the fluoride in the excel sheet it has uh, no use here we we can only keep ac then sodium calcium magnesium potassium and in anion sulfate and bicarbonate and chloride that's it so next we have to select this one next and then import so our data will import here so 41 rows total containing 615 values have been imported and now we have to click on finished now here the district name has appeared we have to go to plot a new plot collection then click on plus sign here we have to select piper diagram for piper diagram other option are also there you can go for that and then in general you have to select uh, deselect this auto title option and uh, you have to rename this i am giving the name piper diagram of megala you can give any any name so oh, you can change here font style color i am doing in black color you can do any other color also and then apply or okay if apply it will uh, apply here and okay it will come here now you can see the legend as default so go to plot collection symbol editor here you have to select this box and here first select all major parameter we want to bring the district name so we are going for station parameter here station name selecting station name it will give the district name and then okay so now we have to here come our district name we have to apply this one after applying we have to go for plot collection now our legend has come with the district name we have to export the image by clicking this one so this is a path where you want to keep the file just to browse it and i am keeping this in desktop and uh, one thing we have to select the active plot so again browse and go desktop select here i am giving the file name as figure only and you can give a mega loy piper anything so let me recur it in the proper way okay mega loy piper and you can select as uh, other format also i am saving in piper such a png format so save this one and uh, keep this at large okay then export after exporting uh, do you want to open the folder i will click on yes to check the file so here i can see the file in the desktop so i have to minimize this one i guess the file is not here i have to minimize uh, this one it will come here but no file is here no? it is figure no this is not the file so i have to check this again in the aquacam where the file have been saved let me check this was in desktop only so you can check where the file was saved actually so here you can see the megaloid piper the folder is already here so no need to save it again just uh, cut it minimize this one and i have to i guess i have to refresh this one so i have to go for right click refresh i see megaloid piper is here just open this one so we have the piper diagram in png format you can use this one uh, anywhere so now let's go for uh, wilcox diagram that is uh, ussl salinated diagram so again we have to go for plot collection mm -hmm. plot collection we are seeing that uh, graph is already here so we will go for and this one was uh, for changing the name so we will go for plot with a new plot collection here we will go for add plot then wilcox and then in general we have to again or to deselect this auto title option so after unchecking this box we have to write the name 
here we will write ussl salinity diagram for megaloy you can give any name you can change font color now everything here i am keeping it black then after writing this apply or click on ok and then you have to go for exporting this one select active plot then browse the file then i am giving the name as meghalaya ussl then click on save and then export then click on yes see here uh, we, uh, after refreshing we have the file mehalo ussl so this is the plot we have got both the piper and ussl salinity diagram so that was our video here you can predict the diagram so thanks for watching please subscribe and press the bell icon for more update thank you